Hi, Janelle Martin with Osborne Books and More, here to just give you a quick sneak peek into some of the books that my family loves. We'll start with the books for, uh, for the little ones. Our favorite around here is the That's Not My series. This particular one, That's Not My Puppy, goes through and this little mouse down here is on every page trying to find his puppy. And it's not his puppy because the tail's too fluffy or because the collar's too shiny, or the ears are too shaggy, and in the end, he finds his puppy because his nose is so squishy. Now, my 18-month-olds love it because they love touching it and the feel and the texture. I love it because they're learning new words. Uh, my littlest one, Taylor, she likes to pet it and go soft. So it's great for putting new vocabulary words into these little ones' hands. All right, next step up. Muddle and match. See, this is for somewhere between 18 months and four, though my four-year-old still loved it. Um, starts with these little jungle animals, and you can leave them like this and tell the story about Marvin the monkey, and then turn all three and go to Patrick the parrot, or you can muddle them all up and have a parrot who giggles as she gallops through the garden with follow the footsteps of her favorite friend, you can turn these little animals into all different crazy types of shapes. So, let's muddle and match. On to I'm a Dirty Dinosaur. Now this is actually one of my favorite ones to read. Um, it has a really good rhythm as you get going. I'm a dirty dinosaur with a dirty snout. I never wipe it clean, I just sniff and snuff about. Sniff, snuff, sniff, snuff, sniff and snuff about. And the fun part is the illustrator actually used real mud. No, the pages aren't dirty. But when, when they created the original, they used real mud. And so it goes through and the dinosaur gets all dirty and finally in the end decides to take a bath. Alright, on to some of the Osborne's illustrated books. Now this one is Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, and even my older boys loved it. I just think it is beautifully illustrated. Let's turn to some of these pictures here. Um, and it's a, a shorter version. It's not the entire story of Snow White. You get through and you have Snow White, of course, the story of the Seven Dwarves, and oh, we know how the story goes. The pictures are just beautiful, and they hold even my older boy's attention. And last but not least, we love the Osborne um, nonfiction books as well. Here's an example of one that my seven-year-old is reading right now, Lift the Flap. Computers and coding and at first I thought lift the flap that seems like a little childish But it's not because of all the information you have in here um, For example down here a set of instructions from a partic particular task is known as an algorithm An algorithm is like a little recipe and you open it up if you follow all the steps in the right order You always end up with the same thing so it goes through and talks to you all about computers coding and you lift the flaps for fun little facts. And Osborne has a whole series of um, lift the flap nonfiction books, and they are pretty amazing. So that's just a quick peek at some of the books my family loves. I hope to see you at our Facebook party, where we'll show you even more awesome books. See you soon.